Greetings and salutations. Welcome to episode 74 of the lead save. We've got another big one. We've got West Brom, which that's not big, but we've got Everton in the FA Cup semi final. Everton, Everton, who we are currently fighting for the coveted fourth place. We're five points behind, though. We need a good run. We're playing Everton in the last game of the season, so it's actually going to be huge. Big changes, a couple of big changes for today. Marshall's going to get dropped, just rested for a couple of games. He hasn't scored for a few. Um, and Tuba's been on form when he has got games so we're going to give uh, Tuba upon the nod and also Andre Ayew's going to play on the right hand side he's back from injury, almost fully fit sharpness is a little bit low but that's fine um, for Grealish, after having looked at his stats last game playing well but yeah, we just thought Andre Ayew's got a bit more end product to him you know, he's already scored, what he's got one less goal in much less than half the games he's played uh, the rest of it's all the same. Pretty settled team at the moment. Oh, Albergini actually is coming in as right back for Sam Byron. Look, if you compare them, right? Um, okay, that's not quite right. <laughs> yeah, if you compare them, they're very, very close. Sam Byron's a little bit better defender, and Albergini's a bit pacier, slightly better than the others, but he's also eight years younger, so I'm trying to give him plenty of game time. Um, we we'll bring Byron in for the back for the big matches, but um, obviously all these are all big at the moment. But uh, yeah, I really want to give him some game time. Um, he's just being rested. Yeah, they've got Ob, Oob, uh, Roberts. Is that the no? I don't know who that is. Twenty-three year old Welshman. Okay, Arnautovic, Rakitic. They got Rakitic. <laughs> Wow, that's a come down, isn't it? No offence, West Brom, but imagine him turning up to the ground the first day after being at Barcelona for 10 years. Um, that's a great sign-in. His physicals have dropped quite heavily, but Ndai, Faris, Dix, McCarthy, James Chester, and Zoet in goal. And you've got Jed Wallace. Always wondered how good he gets. Not a bad little player. Right. They're going for a classic 4-4-2, and we're going to smash them. And then considering it is now stupid o'clock in the morning, and I want to sleep soon, I'm going to have my nighttime herbal cigarette. Um, excuse the noise. <clears throat> right, come on. We don't. Want, if we lose this... It's like an instant... He's named Ogoobi. That's ridiculous. That's made up. Bullshit. It's cheating. I was going to say, if we lose this, I think... I don't think we're going to make Champions League. Let's let's put it that way. We're, who are Everton playing? Tottenham. And Tottenham are top. So Tottenham could should win this game. Okay, we'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, come on. We've still got plenty of time to turn this around. Come on, boys. Oh, it's not been a most entertaining game in the world. I'm going to continue my adventures this summer. What I want to do is, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to sign either Gareth Bale, Suarez, Messi, Ronaldo, I think that's it, or Neymar. One of those is going to sign for Leeds. I don't care if they're 42 years old. It will happen. Oh, come on. Cookie. Oh, what a cheeky back heel from Cook. Come on, Tubes. Oh, unlucky are you. Flick it back in. No. Lewis Cook with a lovely back heel. Taylor again. Go on. Yes! That's what he's there for. End product. Get in. He's been a fantastic signing. 1.5 million in the summer. Absolute brilliant squad player to have. Lovely dig from Taylor there. Underside of the bar. Thank you very much. Tottenham. Oh, fucking hell. Everton are winning. Away against top of the league Tottenham. Who are six points clear. Man United could catch him though. Um, yeah, I think we're, we're playing fine. It's going to come, boys. Tottenham, Harry Kane has equalised for Tottenham. Fantastic. Okay, if we win this game, we close the gap. 
come on, have West Brom even got anything to play for? Can they even be relegated? No. Ish. <laughs> yes, but probably not. Come on, Tottenham. Winter. Ball over the top. For Tubes. Takes a touch. Hits it. Good save from Zoet. Like Gilberto with the lovely free kick. Oh, it's dropped nicely to your for the centre back on the volley. Second goal of the season for your offer. There we go, boys. There we go. And I also got I got a comment recently about playing the match in two D. And um you know, I like to try and do stuff that you guys suggest and everything, and there's certain aspects I'm quite happy to, but at the end of the day, I, I've got to play the way I enjoy most, and I like watching the 3D. Um, I know some of you aren't the biggest fans of it. I hope you can either just handle that and still watch, but if you want to go find somebody else, nearly every other FM channel does it 2D. Um, so there's plenty out for you, but, you know, those of us that like this, the 3D match engine, <laughs> you know, we're happy. I just like enjoy playing it. Albergini, come on, Albergini. That's a good ball. Back post. Yes! Winter! Come on, Tottenham. We need you to score, Tottenham. We really need you to score. For two reasons. Because I want Everton to drop points. And I don't want Manchester United to win the league. I should title this episode, Do I Hate Man United? At the end of the day, like I don't physic, I don't actually hate Man United. It's like it's weird, you know. I, I know some fans are like diehard, like Man United fans, are disgusting, you know. Liverpool, no way, Ugh, bin dippers and all that sort of stuff. And you know, some Liverpool fans are just like that. Don't let another goal in. Good tackle, your for He's had a fantastic game, but it's kind of like I banter hate Man United. You know, like at the end of the day, if you if I was made to take a truth serum, I'd go. They're a fucking amazing team because they did it the right way. Didn't get just a ridiculous investment. They built up, became a superpower of football. You know, fair play to them. All right, I'm going to give Charlie Taylor, England international, a rest. <laughs> I wonder if you'll stay in the England team or whether it was just a little sub appearance and that's it. Tubes, look at him, tubes. They're, dang, they're scared to go near him. Albergini, come on. If you're going to replace Byram, you need to start yes, creating some assists. Or making some assists. Tubes. Lovely. Was it going? In? Yeah, just about sneaking in. Definitely Tubes' goal. Not one for the dubious goals, that one. Come on, Tottenham. We've got 15 minutes. Um. And then we'll give Lewis Cook a cheeky little 10 minute rest. There you go, buddy. Come on, Tottenham. No, it's not happening, is it, Tottenham? It's not happening. Mario Rui with the corner. Good header. Oh, he off almost got a second. <laughs> He's got one all season. Lovely win. Good comeback, boys. Oh, we did what we could. We closed the gap on Everton. Um, yeah, we very pleased. Lewis Cook, man of the match. 13 key passes. That is ridiculous. That is utterly ridiculous. He's still only 25, I forget. Because I've sold him. He's played loads of football. Three points. We're coming at you, Everton. We're coming at you. We've got a slightly better goal difference, but it's pretty even. Remember, we're playing them on the last game of the season. We're playing them now as well in the FA Cup semi-final. Right, let's set out a stall. Let's let's injure a couple for the rest of the season. I want to actually have a look how Albergini is actually doing. So he's playing fantastic. That's not a bad amount of assists. As a right back, you'd go, yeah, that's not too bad. But then you look at Sam Byron and go, okay, he's more than one in two. But that's that's pretty pretty good. I think it's going to be close call next season as to who gets the nod between Byram and 
an old Bugini. I kind of feel bad saying that. But, you know, to be fair, we brought him back to the club. You know, he's got three more Premier League seasons under his belt as a regular. Two of the best seasons of his life. But maybe his, his, his Leeds time is coming at a close. He'll definitely be in the team next year, but maybe not quite first choice rotational option, maybe. Yeah, Neymar, whatever. Is, is Neymar playing all the games? He's still only 30, so he's going to be a regular still, isn't he? Yeah, he's playing every game. One of them will be mine. I think Gareth Bale's the most likely. He's not getting all the games at Arsenal. His wages are just a killer, though. He's on like 300 grand at Arsenal. Right. FA Cup semi final time. I'm going to keep the same squad because both of the players I bought in, Tubes and I, both scored. Albergini had a great game. Yeah. Yeah. If I ain't broke. I can't choose between the two sides. Going to be a penalty shootout. Oh, I don't want a penalty shootout. Really don't want a penalty shootout. We're favourites. Okay. We're playing Leicester in the final. Whoever it's, whoever gets through. How much of uh, Seamus Coleman? That's always a benefit. I'm just focusing on what we could do. So they got Campbell. Who's that? Martin Campbell. Oh, he's been about the house. He's 22 million. <clears throat> Decent young striker. Okay. Bruma, Eric Lamella, McCarthy, Francisquino. <laughs> what the fuck is that name? Brazil calls he is. Pepe Lou, Duarte, Bermudez, Mancini, Michael Keane, and Rico. Okay. Oh, Halovic. People are telling me to talk about looking at signing this guy. He went to Liverpool. He's been about the houses. He's, well, he's not played much football. He'd probably be a lot better in some of your guys' save. Don't really play with an advanced playmaker. But he's good inside forward. I'll scout him. Probably not quite enough now if I'm looking to improve. Remember, if I, need, if I get a right-sided midfielder, he's going to have to replace Grealish. That's where my money's going to go next season. Is is um, obviously depending on how much I'm going to get. Is going to be a centre back. That's a good ball. Unlucky centre back and a inside board right. Gilberto with the corner. Floats it in. He offer. Liverstam. Are you? Yes. Get in there. Get in there. Two and two for you. What a tactical genius I am. That's why I'm the manager. Well, because I made me manager. But that's why I'm still the manager. Because I make the big decisions. Broomer. It's a long free kick. If we head this way, we could break. No. Duarte picks it up. What's he going to do? Oh, he's... He's loitering. Oh, there's a mistake. Oh, he's got it. Plays it through to Tubes. He's one on one with the keeper. Here we go. Come on, Tubes. Come on, Tubes. Ah, oh, Tubes. Ah, oh, Tubes. Tubes. I was confident. I was confident he was going to put that away. Come on, boys. Oh yeah, and I want a complaint to make against my subscribers. You need to leave more comments. It's been getting a bit quiet recently, so comment, you bitches. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good way to gain subscribers. Call them bitches. And if you if you're not already a bitch, subscribe and then like you could be one of the bitches. Right. Good first off. We have another shot. They've had a bit more possession, but we don't care about that. Albergini, can we get a second just before half time? Tubes on the left hand, right hand side, even. Albergini, poor cross, Albert. Ross, the anchor man, 
he panics when he gets up. It's like Lucas for Liverpool. He's like, <gasps> I don't know. What do I do up here? Albagini, come on, better cross this time. That is a better cross. Winter! Oh, he keeps scoring! Get in the 2 0. Ah, oh, look at the big crowd. And it's 2 0 lead. Albagini with the assist. Winter just sneaks in front of his man. Oh, Keen. I don't think he's natural right back, is he, Keen? Oh, they haven't had a shot. They haven't had a shot, lads. Very happy with that. Is that it? Is that all you've got? Nobody, no green. Solid defensive work. Nobody cares. Somebody got. Yeah, there we go. Andre, are you good on your son? Tubes. There you go. Got two greens. All right, just start off with a little calm, concentrate. We don't want them getting an early goal. <clears throat> Oh, an early shot. <laughs> Can we go the whole game without Everton getting a shot? Imagine getting a, to an FA Cup semi-final and then watching your team not even have a single shot. It's like Man United. Oh, I just keep doing it. I can't help myself. Sorry, boy. <laughs> I'll calm down the Man United. <laughs> I tr I'll try. It just comes to me naturally. I can't stop. Oh, 60 minutes. Still no shots. Come on, we got this, boys. We can, we got this. Oh, for fuck's sake, they've had a shot. Oh, oh no! Why have you done that there? Oh, of all, oh. What? Why would he do that? Look where it is on the pitch, dude. What a fucking knobhead! What an idiot! Ah, uh, right, okay, forget it, move on, you're a bellend, Andre, are you? Right, 22 minutes left. So, we will, first off, I'll take off Winter. Um, we'll just have him as support. And... Have him centre midfield on defend, and then we'll pull these guys back. Full back, defend. We're just shutting up shop, I think. Full back, defend. Sam Byron's better than that over that role, so he can come in. Um, counter attacking. I'm not looking for the overlap because they're not. He'll be looking forever because nobody's going to overlap. Um, we'll play keep keep narrow. And uh, da, 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 don't want to change too much. Just slow the tempo down a little bit. That's it. Don't want to go too crazy with it. <sighs> this was so comfortable. Why? Why are you? Why? See it out. They've had five shots <laughs> suddenly from nowhere. Come on, boys. Tighten up. Dropping it to contain. Going for waste time. Yes. Nice. Just saw it out. And we're just letting them know what they're in for. For come the final game of the season. You know that that's going to be. This is going to be playing on their minds that we destroyed them. Thirty-nine percent possession. That's my worst possession in a long time. Well done, boys. Apart from you, you're an idiot. Why is he confused? Why are you confused? Me just saying I'm disappointed you got sent off early. Um, he, he knows he made a mistake. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. We're in the fucking FA Cup final, boys. Ooh, there's a million quid. Gobble, gobble. Um, yeah, I'm not going to appeal because... 
final week. For a straight red, I final week usually, unless they're serial, do it, and then I'll do it if they do it multiple times, they get two weeks. Usually for two yellows, I'll just give them a warning, <coughs> unless they keep doing that as well. So we're playing Leicester. It said Leicester. Why is it unknown? Yeah. Leicester. Who are 18th in the league. I think that's doable. Right. Let's have a look. Oh, look at this. Lots of green this season. Lots of green. Do like a bit of green. Um, so, next episode will be... Um, Benfica in the first round of the semi-final of the Europa League and Arsenal who are seventh in the league still battling for a Europa League spot so that's going to be a very tight game this will sort of decide if I can try and push Everton for fourth place with three points off pretty much if we lose against Arsenal I think we can count that out but we should, it looks like we're almost guaranteed uh, fifth place just with a point or two We've got Liverpool, Arsenal and Chelsea all below me. <laughs> That's good. Good to see. Right, we will end the episode there. Please like and comment. Subscribe if you're new to the place. Uh, doing a big giveaway at 500, so make sure you're one of them. I love you all very much. I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.